I think that this is uh, a sign that Bidenomics is doing what we would hope that it would do and that people are starting to feel it in their pocketbooks too. Folks, all this is no action. It's Bidenomics. Bidenomics, right? It kind of flows off the tongue. She's here to talk with you about Bidenomics, which is the word of the day, word of the week, word of the month, word of the year here at the White House. What's it like to live inside Biden world where you all agree on one word and then you don't? Biden world pushing the president's economic policies for months now, but poll after poll started showing Bidenomics as a total flop with the voters. So now the administration is reportedly about to flip the script. Politico obtained a White House memo that details a plan to start attacking what it's now going to call Maganomics. It claims Republican policies will raise the cost of health care and prescription drugs, efforts to repeal the Affordable Care Act and the and Inflation Reduction Act put the differences between Bidenomics and Maganomics in sharp perspective. That's one quote. A new op-ed lays out one of the reasons Americans don't like Bidenomics. The bite it's taken out of our retirement savings. 401ks down nearly 25%. Pension plans have lost 12%. Even voters in Joe's hometown of Scranton, PA, sounded fed up. It's just gotten tougher, I feel like, for everybody. It's gotten worse. I'm a registered Democrat, but I'm not happy. This economy sucks. I mean, everything's going up, except, you know, paychecks. Couldn't you just watch it every day? Well, we did two days in a row because nobody tells it better than the Scranton people. Power panel now, John Caldwell. Fox News political analyst, and David Carlucci, former Democrat, New York State Senator. David, I'm going to start with you. Maganomics, what are they exactly? Well, I, what it's showing is that it's what you'll get under a Trump presidency um, and re Republican regime. Look, uh, Bidenomics, the only problem with it is the word. Uh, the policies are working, um, but the presentation mm. is not. So they're trying to shift and say, hey, look, look what will happen under Maganomics. So uh, right now we have the largest number of Americans <coughs> covered under health insurance. Um, Trump wants to repeal the ACA and leave millions of Americans without health insurance. Uh, those are just some of the plain facts about what Maganomics means. Uh, all right. I I'll let Gianno hit those what you call plain facts. But but that's not what they're doing. They're not saying that the only problem was the word Bidenomics. They are admitting that it failed. Otherwise, they just call it something else and resell what's working. But they can't because it's not yeah. working. Do you want to hit That's any right. of that, uh, Jono? The, the facts well, part? First, first <laughs> well, the facts part. Well, first and foremost, this idea of maganomics and saying, hey, we're going we're gonna to put this out here to compare and contrast with Bidenomics is one of the dumbest ideas I think that I've heard in a while in politics because maganomics is something people will say, wow, that's when the economy was great. Give me more of that. I remember mm. when Trump was in office. We had big paychecks. Uh, interest rates were very low. We could afford our groceries. Those are the maganomics that Donald Trump wants to be sold, and now the Biden administration is helping to, to do the jobs. Just very quickly on the facts, as you mentioned, we know, according to Fox News polling, since October, Donald Trump has gained 21-plus uh, percent with independents, 15 percent with blacks, 13 percent with Hispanics, 8 percent with suburban uh, voters, and 4 percent with men. Things are going well on the Republican side for Donald Trump because people remember Maganomics. So do you think this could backfire? Well David? Well, look, I mean, you could we could talk Calling about the polls, but the elections is what really matter. Look at the elections that we've had. Democrats have been winning. The last elections we had just a couple weeks ago, winning in Kentucky, Ohio, Virginia, the list goes on and on. But when you so look at some might of that, the, 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 one of, of the abortion. issues, yes, was abortion more so than it, because that's what sure. those areas, you know, they say all politics is local. That's what some of those areas, those districts were focused on. But I want to get back to this, backfiring it. You're going to call it Maganomics based on what you project might happen. Bidenomics actually is what happened. <laughs> and you and can't Bidenomics, erase look, we... what happened. So you want to put in yes. fantasy of what might come? It's the reality, it's the contrast between what Biden policies are doing, whether it's the CHIPS Act, the affordable, yeah. the, uh, we talked about the I Affordable Care Act. I just don't know why you can't sell that, that, though. See, people are well, smart. I think the polling, and they balance uh, people their are checkbooks. frustrated. And they know that at the end of the month and at the end of this year, they'll need $11,000 more to have what they had in 2021. They know that they just had the most expensive Thanksgiving on record. 
They know yeah. this. If we look so at, you we can look at multiple economic word, indicators. I don't know. If we, well, I think it's the presentation. I, I believe that, but I believe that economic poli indicators are showing that the American economy is on a roll. And if you compare it to the rest mm. of the world, <laughs> we are doing incredibly well. And to blame the the policies of Biden uh, for inflation, I think, is woefully wrong. Look at the rest of the world. We have gotten inflation but to the number that the here. Fed was looking what? for. We only we only we have live invested here. in infrastructure. And when the UK was cooking close to 10 percent inflation, and we were up above. Nine. I mean, we only live here. Has it come down yet? Yeah, but the prices haven't come down because inflation still exists. Many of the prices have come down. That's if right. If we look across That's the right. country, it, we wow. can see it. I don't know where you shop. Do you That's eat? not true. That's not true. To That's get absolutely not eggs. true. Go ahead, Joe true. Biden's. Joe Biden's greatest accomplishment at this point is being the worst polled president in history. Things are not going well under his uh, watch, and over 70 percent of Americans feel that their financial situation is going in the wrong direction. They feel that they're either poor or fair. That's not okay for any president to be waving uh, a flag to say, vote me in for a second term. No, absolutely not. People are, are living out of uh, boxes, if you will, because they cannot afford basic necessities. That's not okay, and that is not what Democrats should be trying to sell to the American people. It's a horrible image. All right, David, I'll come to you I first on this. I've got to move. Okay. Biden's border crisis somehow managing to get even worse. Didn't think that that could happen, but look at the pictures. Fox has captured these images. This is Lukeville, Arizona. Hundreds of illegal immigrants waiting to be processed after breaching the border wall. They're here illegally. They've already broken our laws. So they're criminals already. CBP forced to close the Lukeville port of entry to redeploy personnel to help with the untenable surge of people to the Tucson sector. CBP sources telling Fox News they encountered 19,000 people over the weekend. 10,000 entered the United States between Sunday and Monday alone. The staggering numbers, a far cry from what former President Obama DHS Secretary Jay Johnson described as crisis level. This is what he said would be a crisis in 2019. Watch. I know that a thousand overwhelms the system. I cannot begin to imagine what 4,000 a day looks like. So we are truly in a crisis. Wow. 2023, how would, how would 10,000 look? Meanwhile, illegal immigrants in Massachusetts are derailing the time-honored tradition of the Army-Navy football game held this Saturday at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. Iowa Senator Joni Ernst puts the blame squarely on the president's border policies. So this is the week that America focuses on what we call America's game. It is the Army-Navy football game. What we see in Boston is because they are a right-to-shelter state in Massachusetts, illegal immigrants are now being housed in those hotels that were already reserved for the families of those service members, those cadets and midshipmen, and they're getting the boot while the illegal immigrants are being put up in those hotels. David. Look, the way we fix illegal immigration is through legal immigration. And President Biden has come to the table with a comprehensive immigration plan. We have leaders in Congress that refuse to negotiate this issue, would rather leave it as a political football and blame Biden. That's all I hear. I hear from the senator this quote, they're just blaming Biden. What are you going to do to help fix this problem? We need legal immigration. People are fleeing no in, in trying to save their lives. And they have to crawl across the border, sneak across, because the immigration system is not no, working. Not it needs sneaking. to be reformed. But that's up to Congress. They're Until not then, Democrats are on Gianna. their own. They're not sneaking. Yeah, that's right. Almost 7 million encounters since Biden took office, almost 2 million known gotaways. And now we're seeing migrants throughout the city of Chicago, New York, and all over. Democrats are really good at marketing and making feel good speeches, let everybody in. But what we're now experiencing, thanks to Governor Abbott, is people see the real issue that's going on with the migrant crisis, and they don't want it in their towns, including Chicago, where they're saying that they, they'll vote for Republicans just to get the border closed. Yeah. And letting this, this go This is going to take hurts. Republicans and Democrats work together to get it done. That's and the only way it's going to be solved. And letting this go on hurts those people who really do want to come here the right way. Exactly they got to go get right. in the back of the line exactly behind right. all the people who cut in front of them illegally. Gentlemen, exactly. thank you. Good to see you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmey. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.